Osteoporosis causes more than 8.9 million fractures per year. This means that an osteoporotic fracture occurs every 3 seconds. With the advent of new technologies and sedentary work, this number could increase. Physical inactivity is a leading cause of diabetes. However, diabetes negatively affects bone health and reduces bone strength. Researchers have observed that patients with diabetes have an increased risk of hip fractures, which is even higher in patients with type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is the most common metabolic disease in children and adolescents. In these patients, insulin produced by pancreatic beta cells is destroyed by the body's immune system. Because the pancreas is unable to produce enough insulin, glucose accumulates in the bloodstream. This is called hyperglycemia. We also know that the protein called DKK1 is highly expressed in diabetes. Nevertheless, this protein prevents bone repair by inhibiting the wind-sinning pathway which controls bone remodeling. To understand the underlying mechanisms, we are investigating how inhibition of DKK1 may affect bone health in a mouse model. Recently, the discovery of microRNAs has shed light on potential new therapeutic tools that can be used for patients in the near future. MicroRNAs are like orchestra conductors that control the expression of genes with specific functions in cellular com communication. In diabetes, some of these microRNAs are dysregulated. This leads to an imbalance between bone formation and resorption. Therefore, we are exploring how modulation of dysregulated microRNAs might improve bone health in type 1 diabetes. In summary, our findings will help clarify how everything is connected and may improve the treatment of diabetic bone disease.